So we have doors. No giant mantises, unfortunately. I need like twelve eggs. I really, I, I, I mean, we really do need the giant mantis eggs. Trouble. What? Oh. <sighs> What do you mean? What was that? Eddie? Eddie isn't dead. If Eddie isn't dead, then there's no trouble. I don't know what you're talking about. What was that sound? Okay. You're, you're putting me on edge, Veronica. Lots of flowers. Lots of flowers. And they kill, as we well know. Because there was a... There... Okay. I didn't see it on the minimap. Eddie, you're confusing everything. What is going on? <laughs> okay. I sort of lost track of where I was, actually. Because I think I took one door and I could have taken two. Uh, but this just keeps going. Is the sound coming from these things? That's kind of cool. I like that. We can hear the soundtrack also people typing in the computer. That's the original Mark Morgan soundtrack, having people on the computer in the background. I, I, I love it. It's Mark Morgan is honestly a genius, and uh, I love his work. What is that color? It's weird. I don't think it's supposed to be like that. Oh, I see. So we went over there... Oh, that is the color. I was going to say it's like ultraviolet, but it, it it wasn't. We got some frag grenades that honestly I shouldn't be picking up, but we don't talk too much about my bad decisions. And a terminal. System security has been compromised. Vault 22 Expedition Entry 3. This level seems to have been devoted to the study of atmospheric effects on plants, with a concentration of on producing plants with a high oxygen yield. Given the, quote, problems, unquote, these vaults were known to have, it sounds like a reasonable avenue of research. Uh, th that might be a reference to the fact that the vaults are science experiments. I still believe that is not common knowledge and should not be common knowledge in the world of Fallout. I am pretty sure it isn't. I am almost certain. I said I said that I had a ramble about it before, but and I think it was in, in relation to a different mission. But anyway, let's see what happens. It's strange, but some sections of the machinery down here appear to have been modified for some uh, for some unknown purpose. The restraints regarding oxygen content and systemic pressure have been bypassed. I've been hearing a strange chittering sound for some time now, and finally discovered its source. There's some kind of giant mantises, this is good news, that have taken up residence in the vault. I almost ran smack into one the other day, but the creatures don't appear to react to my presence at all. Perhaps the others sent here ran afoul of the creatures, but I can't see how a few scattered insects could pose much of a problem to experienced mercs. Yeah, to experienced mercs be being the important the, uh, uh, modifier there, because the, the fr have you seen the mantises in this game? Okay, so that means, or that could mean, so these plants don't do anything. That could mean that what was happening with combat is that Eddie was reacting to the mantises existing. And the AI of the mantises were just, uh -oh. what, there it is. Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, it is. Okay, that's, that's confirmed then. The mantises existing, the AI is weird. Either that or they just die and anyway we have a terminal over here let's see what it's all about uh check inventory retrieving inventory information 14 nitrogen canisters two pressure valves eight dispersal nozzles six cartridge filters uh and that's hepa 20 uh, i don't actually know what that means and frp piping two meters they use me they use metric they use metric what could that mean? Feels... Somehow it feels strange. Anyway, uh, we know where to go then. We need to get back there to kill the mantises. Because obviously there's no entrance through here. That said, if the mantises actually... I think, I thought, I think that mantis just fell off the, the level. Oh. 
Um, I think that one that we saw just fell off the level. What is this? Entrance hall. Oh, this is how we got in. Of course. No, wait. It is not. Oh, yeah, it is. This is the elevator. Okay. We're good. So maybe we're going to go back there by coming up. Uh, back up. Let's go into food, food production. Oh, there's enemies. Okay, this is good news. There's... Oh, this is not good news. Hmm. Th these are not mantises. They're spore carriers. I know. I, I bumped against him. Um, I was going to say... I was going to say we're going to get the mantises, but we're not. Not like this. Got a computer over here. Warning, system diagnostics shows that memory has been corrupted. Retrieving uncorrupted files only. Vault 22 expedition entry number six. I finally found some of the bodies of the scientists that lived here. They appear to be overgrown with some form of lichen. They blend in so well with the other growth that I walked right by several of them without even noticing them. Well, I guess we just killed the scientists. I've taken the proper precautions, but the lichen doesn't seem to be contagious. At least to ghouls. Oh, Keely is a ghoul. Did I... Did we know that? Either way, that's the person that we were following. The, 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 the person who left all these... Uh, all these uh, these things. This level appears to be where they performed most of the research NCR is interested in. I've been able to collect a little, but the vast majority of the data from the research do done here is inaccessible. I'll have to find the main backup and download from there. Because our ne network connection is down. You know how it is. So these plants transform into the big monsters. No, no, they don't transform. That's, uh, you see it? Do you see it? Because I see it. It's a spore carrier. It's a good thing I'm OP as hell. I could have said OPAF. Because, you know, if you, don't, if you don't know what OP means, it means overpowered. That's what I meant. Uh, then, yeah, there's. you can see the... Wait, what? Oh, sorry. You can see the... As long as you see the, the lichen itself, it's very easy to identify. Veronica, I'm sorry. This this weapon is really dangerous. Uh, but we don't need to worry about it for you, I think, because you heal over time. Oh, 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 no. Also, you can see there... <laughs> Veronica's really upset with this whole affair. Um, I mean, figures. Uh, let's see what this one does. This is a status report. It's not... It's not from Kili. Yields continue to improve. Splicing together cultivar GN188 with the existing corn samples has produced a hybrid that responds better to the artificial lights we have. On a side note, Dr. Peters has missed his third straight day due to illness. His work ethic hasn't exactly been stellar to this point, so I'm requesting confirmation from the clinic that he is, in fact, sick. On a lark, the guys down in pest control sent up a sample of a substance one of their specimens secretes to attract insects. Tests show that the substance has a mood-altering effect on smaller mammals. If anyone volunteers, we can begin human testing soon. Quite a number of the staff have begun to show symptoms of some sort of viral infection. I've begun to order them to stay in bed and recover, but at this rate, there won't be anyone left to do research. So this viral infection here... A fungal infection is different than a viral infection. And viruses don't cause fungus. Well, actually, there, there might be some synergy between some viruses and some fungus. Either way, that, those are two different things. Not much to report today. The mood is, un, uh, is unusually somber in the wake of Dr. Peter's passing. There's a strange rumor going around that the commotion downstairs was caused by, of all things, Dr. Peter's corpse suddenly animating and attacking people. I don't know who would start such a vicious rumor, but it's in exceptionally bad taste. And I completely agree. Apart from the fact that it very likely was indeed the case. On account of the... You know, what we are observing. Oh, there's more. There's definitely more. Veronica... Oh, there's so many enemies. They're all aggressive. Hopefully... Oh, it sounds like it's the Mantis. Hello! 
Are they running away? Are they sort of leading me on with the mantises? Because I could see that being the case and just being, you know, because that is why I'm here. It's not the only reason I'm here, but it's one of the big reasons why I'm here. And um, them showing me the, the mantises would be a good way to tell me that I'm going the right direction. Security request. Assistant Mathers went into the caves at 18... 46 today and still hasn't returned requesting security escort for science personnel to conduct a research we need a medical team up here now dr peters just returned with one of the security escorts who is horribly wounded when i asked them where the other security officer was he just bailed and shook his head uh, in the meantime dr bailey has ordered that the door to the caves be sealed until a further investigation can take place it's interesting that it's a further investigation. And there's over here as well, a search. I, I said research. Okay, so it's less interesting. I thought it was a research. Anyway, uh, is anyone down there? Question mark, question mark. Security is trying to hold off. Well, I don't know what they're trying to hold off. Please send security up at once. With Dr. Bailey watching over his sick wife and daughter in their quarters down in the, com in the common area, I'm officially in charge of the level, and I am requesting security at once. Um... I heard that. Why are you giving me those sounds? These people just want me to have a heart attack. So we have the cave door access. This requires a key. This probably requires control from somewhere else. Until further notice, the door to the caves is to be sealed at all times. No, I can I can open it. By order of the administrator of Administrator Bailey. Seem for further details. Access denied. Contact admin for clearance. Well, I was right, wasn't I? Okay, so it's probably the, the Mantis is giving, um, giving Veronica some grief. And she's very upset about it. Because you know how the AI is. Now, all the plants are potentially dangerous. We haven't gone down yet. So that's the elevator and that's the stairs. That's where we came from. I don't like this. Good job, Veronica. I didn't need to blow you up. That's that's always a good thing. Common areas. Let's go for it. No enemies so far. Lovely vault. I don't like the electricity. I can live without it, honestly. I'll, I'll live without it for right now. And that's the elevator, and we got the stairs. That oh no, the stairs are barricaded. What's going on? Did we did we find them? I think we found them. Either that, or or again, it's the mantis is jumping into oblivion. It sounds like there's mantises about. I don't see anything down there. The, uh, the smoke in the air just adds so much to the atmosphere of, the, of these places. It's really well done. And of course, Mark Morgan's soundtrack just... What? Oh, it's here. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, one of the many reasons why you always open every stall... But in that case, that one, I could have gone without opening it. Okay, the water has radiation in here. Which is not necessarily that big of a surprise. Wow, that one really has. Look at that, 10 rads. This one is just three. Man, that's a lot. That's still going? I wonder if this happened, like, recently, or if they just didn't think too hard about machines, uh, you know, projecting film for a while. Although that one is not projecting, it's just showing something. So this is the overseer's place. Unlock crew quarters. Crew quarters door unlocked. Unlock data backup. Data backup door unlocked. I thought it was, it wasn't gonna be like a place. Unlock cavern access. 
Error. Override engaged at door sight. So I need to unlock it there. That's not to mean that it's locked. It just means that I need to go back up. Okay, what do we have? Some bottle caps, which we shouldn't have because, as we know, that is the currency of the wasteland, not of the vaults. Or certainly not of the pre-war era. Nothing terrible is going on. Just the bar. The jukebox. They get the radio down here. That's actually... You know what? That's that's a pretty cool thing. It, it would... I'm not actually sure. It's a cool thing. It makes sense. I mean, maybe not. I no, it, it does make sense. Because the, the thing is... The vaults probably have communication with the outside. Them getting the radios have, be accessible to every vault dweller is probably not lore correct. Because you need to think that vault... Trouble. What? Really? Oh, it's that plant again, isn't it? She doesn't seem to agree. I don't know. Okay, they're off. Let, let them be. Let's see what this terminal is for. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, more, it's more things. Because the thing is, Vault 13 was supposed to only open 200 years in the future. And Vault 101, the vault from Fallout 3, was supposed to never open at all. So, and, and, and those were not unique vaults in that regard. I think there were other vaults that were supposed... Uh, well, maybe... There were vaults that were supposed to open like 50 years in the future, 10 years in the future. Vaults that were never supposed to close. Like the one in Bakersville, uh, later known as Necropolis. Um, vault 12, I believe. I believe it is Vault 12. Might be wrong on that. Uh, but still, the point is... People living in a vault having access to radio communications, they could potentially, you know, in a vault that's not supposed to open for 200, ye uh, 200 years, they could potentially, you know, receive the radio communications and be like, Oi, there's people alive upstairs. Maybe we should open and go and check them out. Cause that, that would compromise the exper experiment, because all, all, um, all these things are um, based on the experimental value of the vault and all that sort of stuff. Uh, I guess no one will miss this ridiculous trivia game. The questions weren't even that hard. It looks like uh, it looks like this is where most of the people were when they died. The medical reports I found suggested that most of these of uh, most of them succumbed to succum succum they died to some kind of airborne infection. I'm going to see if I can convert some of of the grow lamps into ultraviolet spectrometers to test the air for contaminants. After numerous attempts, I found a range that highlights the particles in the air that I believe killed everyone in this vault. Preliminary tests show them to be spores of some kind. I've set up spectrometers on several of the levels now, and the concentration appears to increase in the lower levels. At this point, I'm concerned that the plants here may constitute a danger to the people of the NCR. Ooh. Well... Considering how there's so much green outside of this vault. I'm not sure about containing or how, how easy it would be to contain the spores. Spores don't come from plants, though. They come from fungus. Which is consistent with uh, the green people being infected with fungus. It's like in The Last of Us. Or... I was going to say Resident Evil, but I'm actually not sure if Resident Evil is a fungus. I don't think it is. I think in Resident Evil it's a virus. Yeah, it's a virus. Hi, what you doing down here? Eddie is having fun. There's the electricity. This does not look... Oh, Eddie, what are you doing? My god, you're just... Ah! Don't you dare die on me, Eddie. The, that was a carrier brute. And it didn't aggro even after I punched it. Did you notice? That's very curious. So if I'm fast enough, I don't crit them. So I don't drop the mine. Which is the reason why it blows up. This thing. Nope. 
The crit has nothing to do with them, with them being aggroed or not. There you are. Okay, they, d they really don't have anything, which is a bit weird. Got another computer. Of course we do. Okay. Ticket one. Strange noises. Problem one. Or problem. Noises in vents. Action. Sent a team to inspect. Result. Source of problem not detected. That's not a result. Ticket two. Gas leak. Problem. Reports of possible gas leak. Several people have complained of coughing fits and other respiratory symptoms. Action. Complete diagnostic of air circulation system. Result. Discovered minor discrepancies in the mass of the of the air being pumped through the vault, but no harmful gases were detected. Also, a strange residue was detected on the air filters, which has been forwarded for identification. Swapped out the filters, just in case. Uh, okay, so that's us, that's telling us that whatever this thing is, it was delivered through the air. Through the ventilation system, in fact. Got a full-on flamer back here. As you do in a vault tech vault, you know. A lot of flamer fuel. Probably gonna throw it all away, but we'll see. While we have room, we'll we'll take it. Uh on the other side. Clinic. The doctor is not in. <laughs> I was sort of expecting to find Somebody with a stim pack. What, did we just find Jet over there? We found Jet over there, didn't we? Yeah, Jet also shouldn't be part of this vault because Jet it was constructed in California probably 20 years before this game happens. And uh, it is, in fact, in, was invented, I should say. And it's probably... It's it's it's, uh, it's already a bit of a stretch that it, it's here in, Col in, uh, in Nevada, but sure. I mean, it's the NCR. They, they probably already have control over... Where it is. Uh, anyway, or maybe maybe it's Killy who just has Jet and left it over there. Uh, but I don't think Killy came to this computer. Case 162. Harrison T. Peters. Condition. Dr. Peters is suffering from a severe case of pneumonia, the result of the spread of some sort of microorganism in his lungs. I've applied the usual treatment and requested that he refrain from working and stop by twice a day for observation. The group of Case 164... Um, Pam Mitchell, Michael Cordella, Samwise Horton, Naoki Fujimoto, Kenneth Derrida, or Derrida, maybe, I don't know. Update, this entire group showed up throughout the course of the day, displaying the same symptoms. They are remarkably similar to Dr. Peters' condition when he first came in a week ago. I hope we don't have a contagion on our hands. Oh, an update for Dr. Peters. Patient... Harrison T. Peters. Dr. Peters isn't responding to the treatment, or, more accurately, his body is actively rejecting the treatment. His condition has worsened, and I'm on the cusp of ordering exploratory surgery. Uh, and then, case 173, a group. Elizabeth Bailey. Marsha Bailey. Amy. And Hayes Garfield. I think that's how it's read. Herman. Veronica Jenkins, James Keyes, Robert Kirkpatrick, Amanda Lowry, Donald Orlando, Iris Pamino, Stephen Rado, Yolanda Reyes, Kelly Sarkin, Nicholas Valdez. Update. Another group with chills, a fever, and a terrible racking cough. I'm... Oh, is that how... That racking cough is written. I thought it had a W at the beginning. Anyway, I'm uh, recommending that they be separated from the general populace. Oh, another update on, on uh, Dr. Peters. Dr. Peters is dead. His vitals flatlined 10 minutes before he entered surgery. I decided to perform an autopsy immediately and discovered his lungs were filled with some sort of fungal infection. Strangely, the fungus still shows evidence of growth despite the death of its host. I'll consult with one of the mycologists on the fifth level and see if they can identify it. And we have an, uh, another update. I think we know exactly what happened here on this update. 
I don't really know how to describe what just happened. One minute I was closing up the day, and the next Dr. Peters' corpse sat up and attacked me. I was able to flee the office and seal him, it, question mark, uh, inside until security arrived, but what the hell's going on? If all the recent illnesses are the same thing... Ellipses. Oh no. The doctor wrote their their memos as if they were writing the, the plot for a horror movie. I uh, see you. Oh, there's an, another one. Okay. That works out. There's a lot of plants in here. Vault 22 jumpsuit. I'll take that, just in case. Because of the, uh... There's another... What the heck? Oh, no! Not the... Oh, my God. The baby crib thing. The teddy bear just flew all over. Wait, you have purified water in here? Man, these mines are dangerous because they just screw everything up in terms of, uh... Oh, look at that. There's a coffee mug out here. I can't even see it, but it's here. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of jumpsuits. Yeah, I don't need to repair them or anything. Hi. Spore plants. These are spore plants. Like in Fallout 2. Well, I guess it makes sense that there would be spore plants. Because of the, uh... Spore carriers. Brutes, though, they may be. They are still spore carriers. Pre-war book. I should hope so. All this should be pre-war. A lot of mushrooms in here. I think that's no coincidence there. It's called environmental storytelling. Unfortunately, it's also called us being at a dead end. So, the... the there's enemies still. Oh yeah, there they are. We just don't have access to the mentises. What a weird... What a weird thing. So, we're, we haven't been to pest control yet. Oh yeah, we're definitely fighting already. We definitely haven't been here before. Oh, there you are. Are you gonna be all right? I think so. There, what is going on? What is that sound? Oh, they're going for it. They're going for it. It must be the spore plants or something. Oh yeah, spore plants. Oh, there you are. So, what I'm thinking is, we need to go upstairs again. To that door that led to the mentises. And I think the mentises being there where we found them just then, is the game trying to remind us that... Uh, that we're here for the mantises. Sort of a weird thing, because if you don't get... Are we going to be alright? I think so. If you don't get both quests, then this air, uh, this area doesn't work the same way. On, on the other hand, no matter what quest you have to get in here, the area always works. That's a really cool way of, of uh, joining two quests together for, for the same area. Uh, Tales of a Junktown Jerky Vendor. I believe that is for Barter. Is a book, so I will get that for plus four, plus four. Very much welcome. Also, the book shouldn't be here because pre-apocalypse, junk town is a post-apocalypse town, and uh, I've le recently, probably not found out, but remembered that the demo version or the demo of Fallout One had a town called Junker Town. I think was the. Uh, the name and it looked vaguely similar to junk town which is a a town in fall one 